Right, we're going to look at doing the downpipes over here. You can see that I've drawn that semicircle over there, broken up into, well, 12 equal parts. Uh, I know that you can't see all 12, but I'm going to label it as though I've got a full circle here. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight coming around this way, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, I'm going to draw another semicircle over there, and I'm going to have number one at the top over there, number two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, number seven at the top there again. Number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, and 12 over there. Right, once I've got that, I can take those lines down. They hit that surface over there. I take lines across, and I'm able to see, well, I can see number one, can't I? Because if I'm standing on this side, looking across, number one is right in front of me. So there's number one. Number two and 12, I can see those two points. Number three and 11, and number four and 10. The other numbers would be in hidden detail at the back, and they haven't required us to do that in this drawing. Uh, same story over here, number one, number two, number three, number four, etc. You can take that and put it in over there um, using the lines that come down from these numbers that I did correctly up there. Once I've got that, the next thing is to do the development of these, uh, of these downpipes. Okay, so you need to do the development of the section B over here and the development of A over there. Um, the reason why this is an important drawing is that you need to develop both sides of this pipe, unlike most of the other drawings that you've done. Right, um, first of all, let's have a look at this, um, this down pipe. It's going at this uh, weird angle over here, and um, we need to make sure that we um, get what we need. First of all, what angle is it? It is going off at a 30 degree angle over there, which means that these lines coming off here must be done at a 60 degree angle in order to get a 90 degree to that line over there. All right, can you see the 90 degree angle that I've got over there? Right, so I'm going to take lines coming out from that number one, from two, three, four, five, six, Okay, um, and uh, we've also got 8, 9, 10, etc. And the same story is going to happen over here. Lines out from all of these points over here. They're quite close to each other. And I need to now figure out how to cut this thing out. First thing that we need to do is to uh, do the little calculation over here. Circumference is equal to pi d. The diameter that I me measured from there to there is 30 millimeters, and I get 94.24 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a little line coming across over here. Just a, just a construction line. Ah, let's choose a nice color. Let's do it over here so it doesn't interfere with anything. There we go, there's my line. I'm going to measure off 94 millimeters. 94 millimeters. Knock that in over here. All right, just need to draw this line out on that side. And I can extend all of these lines that I've just drawn over here because I'm probably going to need them. Okay, right, once I've got those in place, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this line up into the 12 equal parts. Just draw a line at any angle over here. Let's just draw a nice little line out there. Um, take your pair of compasses, set it to any radius that you like. Not too big, not too small. Normally make it about 10 millimeters or thereabouts and go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. Okay, once I've got that, I now line up my set square with uh, what's happening down at the bottom over here. And I'm going to take my other set square next to it. And I can now get these things in line. Right, let's draw these lines. 
There's that first line over there, parallel. And here I go. All of these lines going out over here. Getting those 12 equal spaces. Let's just get this. Right, I've got those in place. And once I've got that, I can now come over here and I can draw out all of the lines that I need in order to get this sorted out. There we go. And I can now number this. Number one, number two, number three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Going back to one. Right, where is number one? There is number one. Where is number two? There is number two. Where is number three? There is number three. Where is number four? There is number four. Where is number five? Number five is uh, up there. Sorry, up, uh, there's number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, going back to one. And I'll have a arc that goes like that. Okay, that's the one side of the pipe, and I can cut that out along that line. I then come over here and I say, well, where's number one? There's number one. Where's number two? Number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, number one, and I can draw that little curve in there really nice and beautifully. And don't forget to just finish it off by drawing a line there and drawing a line over there and there we go that's the development of branch pipe a and then i've got um, this one to do as well it's the same diameter i'm going to take a line coming across over here from that edge over there and i'm going to take lines coming out from all of these points over here number one number two number three number four Number five, number six, number seven, okay, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then I can go over here, draw a line coming down from there to there. I'm going to break this into 12 equal parts. First of all, I need to measure off the 94 millimeters. It's the same measurement as I had for this one. 94 millimeters, take that. Okay, I need to get that into the screen. There we go, measuring off 94 millimeters along that edge. Draw a line coming down over here. Take that, mark off the 12 equal spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Please use very sharp compasses for that so that you get them in the right place. Link that up with this story over here. There's the line at the back there. And ta da. Right. Draw lines parallel to each other. Coming from those points, breaking up my line beautifully into its 12 equal portions. OK, 
guessing you guys have, oh, yeah, I moved my ruler. If you ever have that, just go back to the beginning and do it properly. Don't try and guess. There we go. There we go. There we go. And finally, that one. Once I've got that in place, drop lines down over here. Um, there, and there, and there, and there, and there. I'm getting tired of that word there, 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 there. Need another word. Right, okay, once I've got that, then I go over here and I say, number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. And I then can say number one is over there, number one is over there. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, 12, going back to one. And I can now draw in this beautiful arc over here, going ding to 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 ding. And the same story over here, ding to 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 ding And draw that in, and draw that in, and finish off the base. Don't forget that line. There is normally a mark given to it for some odd reason. There we go. And don't forget to label it at the end of the day. There's your drawing done.